super. You know, super is to superhero movies what Gentleman Broncos is to the science fiction genre. I really do believe that this movie has to look long and hard to find its audience. You need to be the kind of person that fucking adores superheroes to even tolerate that this movie exists. It's freaky, it's gross, it's irreverent, it bends genres like they're hookers over a kitchen table. It really does not give a shit. It is what it is. It's a combination of religious satire, black comedy, action movie. I mean, it pisses all over superhero cliches, and at the same time, somehow embraces them. You know, the main character in this is a schlub. Uh, his entire motivation for becoming a superhero is that his girlfriend dumped him being a crack whore and everything. His sidekick is a freaking psycho played by Ellen Page, and yes, if you heard about this, if you heard about Super and you heard about her performance, yes, it's entirely deserving. She's a freaking psycho in this. Um, the damsel in distress is played by Liv Tyler, the aforementioned crack whore, and you know she still she still somehow makes her character have some kind of redeeming, almost motherly quality. And honestly, you know, I've never seen or. Ne Liv Tyler never seemed hotter to me than she did in this movie, but it, it must be the heroine chic look she was trying to pull off. So the main the, the superhero in this is called Crimson Bolt. And what sets him aside, as I see it, from other vi wannabe vigilantes in this particular niche that I'm trying to discuss here. <clears throat> that of movies about ordinary guys trying to become superheroes is that you know this guy in super has no freaking idea what it means to be a superhero he needs bolty the bitch from hell and that is ellen page's character he needs his sidekick to explain to him what superheroes do to show him the ropes which takes us through like the, the gauntlet of pissing on superhero cliches that I mentioned earlier, but it also kind of makes Crimson Bolt a character that is all style and no substance. He's not just fighting crime, he's fighting normal, ordinary situations that piss you the fuck off, like almost beating to death a guy that cuts in line. And his mentor, mentor slash sidekick has a moral compass that's even more fucked up than he is. So from that point of view, like in this movie, being a superhero is not about answering a call of duty or protecting the innocent or blah, 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 blah. It's about finally getting revenge on all the assholes that you think deserve it. And well, it's kind of hard to root for that kind of mentality. But throughout everything, the guy still with religiously themed hallucinations and all, he's still kind of down to earth. And you know, lucid, and not necessarily smart, but he's not brain dead either. The ending is a big twist, and it kind of reminded me of the ending of Sucker Punch, namely that the people who are better off are not the people, you know, you've been following since the beginning, or even the people that you, you may think they don't even deserve a, the happy ending, um, and they kind of get, you know, they get all the grace, so to speak. But, like, I think the ending uh, really is the thing that saves the soul of the movie because at least it proves that, you know, even this movie had some kind of moral compass in the sense that, you know, Super Crimson Bolt can't just go around and beat the shit out of people with a wrench and, you know, still get the girl in the glory at the end of the day. That's not what being a superhero is about. So, um... Yes, it, it was a bit of a struggle to get through it just because it was so weird and I, I really I appreciate that and um, that's what I appreciate about Gentleman Broncos honestly to speak. I really love it when directors or movies in general just are not afraid to be really really freaky and really weird and you know they're not scared of like scaring off their audience or something like that and that's very redeemable redeeming quality in my eyes but at the same time you know 
it does have budget issues. It does look very cheap. At times it looks very amateurish. But no, I liked it. But I have to say it is not a movie I would recommend. It but I would only recommend it to the people that I know love superheroes. Uh but you know what makes an ordinary guy turn into a superhero? In this particular case with Super, I would say um, he's got some rage issues, okay? He's got some anger management issues, but at the same time, the ending kind of made it, made that bitter pill a bit easier to swallow because it was, it was adorable, it was kind of sweet, the ending to this movie. So overall, you know, it didn't leave me with a bitter taste in my mouth. I thought it was kind of sweet.